Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's review the concept of net torque and what net torque does. An object that can rotate, it has a net torque acting on it, well, then you'll have an acceleration, an angular acceleration. So here we have an object, let's say a solid disk, it has a mass of 2 kilograms, a radius of 0.5 meters, and there's four forces acting on it. Force 1 acts in this direction, which would cause the this to rotate in a clockwise direction so this will give you a negative torque this force right here will cause the this to rotate in a counterclockwise direction that gives you a positive torque this force well the line of action goes right through the point of rotation so it causes no torque and this force right here would cause the object to, the disc to rotate in a clockwise direction so that would give you a negative torque so that takes care of the signs again the magnitude of the, the, the the magnitude of the torque is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to where the point is rotating. So in this case, that would be the radius of the disc. The same for this torque right here. Notice that here, the radius would not be the perpendicular distance because it cuts through here. So there we find that the torque is the force times the distance, the radius, but times the sine of the angle between the perpendicular and where the force is acting, the direction the force is acting. So you can see now you can add up all the torques and we end up with a net torque of 10 Newton meters. Then we plug that into our equation here. Notice that the net torque is the moment of inertia of a rotating object times the angle of acceleration. The net torque will the torques aiding minus the torques opposing. So here's the aiding force which causes the acceleration to be in a counterclockwise kind of clockwise direction. Here are the two opposing forces that would cause the disc to rotate in a clockwise direction, but this is bigger than those two combined, so the net result is a positive 10 Newton meters. So that will equal to the moment of inertia, half times the mass times the radius squared times the angle, angle acceleration. Calculate the angle acceleration, it is 40 radians per second squared. So there you have a nice overview of the concept of the net torque and what the net torque does on an object that's able to rotate. And that is how it's done.